So now we're gonna go over if you ever have jams. Uh, luckily we don't jam, sometimes we misfeed. If that ever happens, this top will lift up. Anything green is actually good to touch. And if there is happen to be a jam, it'll walk you through step by step and what to check. You can also actually drop it down from here as well. The biggest thing about here is on the center, you're gonna see a little green sticker. That's where you wanna push. And that makes it, it locks it back up again. Um, on the front here is where all your toners are. They only slide out one way. They only slide in one way. Um, you can push until it clicks. This whole top also slide out as well. And the top will lift up and the bottom will drop down. Um, we also have on the right hand side, just like before, this whole thing will actually slide open. This is the part where green is important because this side does get hot. So anywhere it is green, it's safe to touch. Um, but as you said, it will show you step by step on exactly where it's at in the machine. Um, only other spot it can possibly jam. Oops. Only other spot it can possibly jam is here in the top. This whole thing will lift up, and then this whole thing will slide out. You have three sets of staples in the machine. There's two on the bottom here, and then there's one at the top. They are different sizes, so if you ever have to actually reorder, just make sure you say either for the saddle stitch finisher or the corners. These staples come out. Um, there's 5,000 staples in here to start. You never want to throw the plastic away. It will give you an instructions guide on how to refill the plastic. When you do, you push it in until it clicks. And then go ahead and close this. If you ever needed to disconnect the actual finisher, this little uh, button here will pull out and then the whole finisher will slide. And this is where your waste toner bottle is on the bottom left here of the machine. And when you're done, you just push it back in. Make sure this is pushed back in and it locks it back up again. As far as... Just that. Um, as far as the drawers go, this drawer only holds letter sized paper, but it holds 2,500 sheets. The biggest thing about this drawer is these two little plungers here. If they get pushed back at all, it's going to say paper drawer empty because it keeps it from jamming. So the easiest way to load this tray is load this side first up to the max line. Go ahead and push it back into the machine and then load this side up to the max line and then put it back in. When this side runs out, this will actually slide over and refill it on the fly. This drawer can do up to 12 by 18. This drawer can do up to uh, 11 by 17 and anything smaller. And then the bypass tray can do up to 12 by 48. But that's, that's the uh, quick you. maintenance guide. <laughs>